Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 32 of Wonderful Pretty Cures. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what the heck is going on in this video, because I'm so... <laughs> oh, baby! Oh! No. I would say that's Cody, but Cody doesn't do that. Hi, Nico. Yeah, let's go to the zoo. I just want to see Sora and Machino. It's awesome. <laughs> I just want to see my babies. I'm just like, because I saw, um, I didn't see a clip. I saw a, a picture of the five of them together. And I'm just like, I... <laughs> like you know, the, <laughs> you know, the meme of the little girl who's like, um, there's a new My Little Pony coming out in a couple of days, and they ask her, like, how she, how she feels, and she's like, eee, that's me right now, like, oh my god, still, like, never would have thought, but it makes the most sense to have Hinogato Sky feature in this episode because of the movie, so, I understand, but still. This is just a perfect group date for them. Oh, <laughs> that's like a Disney Park annual pass. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, like your favorite idol. Or psh, your favorite pretty here. Come here, <laughs> Well, yeah, babe, because it's a padding zoo. <gasps> Yuki, don't get jealous now. Is that <laughs> shut up?
do you not like run from fate? It's okay, Mayu. I don't even like snakes like that either. Yeah. Oh, come on, Yuki. Oh my god. <laughs> Even though it's not their show anymore, they're still giving me the shippable moments with Sora and Machido. Aww. <gasps> yeah, don't be. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the, the baby. <sighs> mm -hmm. Be gentle. Go on. There you go. May. So she's seen so many different generations. Mm-hmm. I never would have thought that elephants were like carrots. But okay. kiss. No pack.
I need a moment right now. Oh my god. It's probably when, oh, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm I'm gonna go cry in the corner because oh my, oh, I can't do this anymore. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be the elephant. Oh, it's not gonna me. <laughs> And we're probably even not, nope, we're not saying it, nope. Okay, okay. I thought, for one little moment, I thought that we would have had three groups. Once again, <laughs> three groups! Well, no, not really, because... Well, no, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, Pretty Careful Boom did have three groups in the end. Even though they weren't showing as much. We just help. Help and pray that my health guy too. I get everything I want. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. The fact that we're getting that next year. Y'all don't know how much I miss those characters. <laughs> I don't think, yeah. That's still not gonna hold up. Are we stopping an elephant? I mean, seriously.
break is you can't let her escape. Because she might even hurt herself or even worse, someone else. Now, why did I think for a moment that the rest of the animals, we would have had, like, a circle of life coming moment? Ish. I don't know. I was just thinking that. Oh, never mind. We might. right and they want the bus for me <laughs> oh, really? Oh. This was the cutest episode ever. Like, oh my god. The fact that number it, even though it's a filler episode. It was a cute filler episode, really, for them to just have, like, the cutest little date, going to the petting zoo, seeing the freaking monster, and hit a lot of sky, which, in the wildest dreams, because, like, I think, what, everyone said that this is supposed to, that we're past the thousand year, like, 
thousand episodes, right? So really this episode was just commemorate and being like, oh, hey, yeah, the movie's coming out very soon. So yeah, here's like a little cameo of the two groups that are going to be featured and, and being like, hey, why don't you also go ahead and watch them? Because, you know, pretty much not every season of every single series of Pretty Care is on Crunchyroll. Half of them are. I mean, both, like, I think Maholtzkai is on. Yeah, Maholtzkai and Hirogato is both on there, and so is this. The one thing that I am secretly hoping, um, because who knows how long it takes for them to get, like, every single um, Pretty Care series as the rights for Crunchyroll. I'm secretly hoping that they eventually bring the movies that would be nice because then it would make it a lot more popular. It would bring it more over to the West because you can pretty much watch Pretty Hair everywhere and such. Heck, this whole weekend, in a nutshell, was talking about the P word. Smile voice? Okay, um, P word being C, you know, uh, here, I'll give you to an, another way. Yo ho, yo ho, up, like for me, that. Um, and such, and how pretty much majority of these sites, one site that I used years ago, um, I think if I want to say a season of Pretty Care that I stopped using it, probably was when we were at like the halfway point of Hugato. Um, and such, because I thought, well, because everybody was like, oh, it's back on Yon, and it gets there, like, an hour early, and I was like, okay, I'd rather use that and stuff, and then I found out how to use Torrance and Ish. Um, but, no, this was a really cute little episode. It, it was very ador adorable, very wholesome. I love the fact that, number one, yes, it's another moment into Eva's past and seeing how she is the person that she is. I love the fact that we got to meet Sakura, like, ugh. She's so adorable. I'm ready to have, like, go out and buy a plushie of an elephant. Because, I, I mean, I, I've always liked elephants beforehand. I, I think they're the most, like, very... Well, no, I'll say this. Any type of animal is adorable regardless. Regardless. There there, there are ones, of course, that are not, obviously. Um, and such. Of course, I have my personal favorites besides, like, a dog and a cat. I think if it's... If we look at any animal... That is not a dog and that is not a cat. <laughs> My favorite, I have to say, I love seals. Seals are literally, and especially the seals that are in, like, Alaska and Antarctica, they, the cute little white ones, they are just the cutest little thing ever. And then I also love penguins. Penguins are adorable, too. And I'm just, every single time I look at them, I'm just like, oh! Like, seriously, no, I, mm, babies, cutie patooties, like, ah, they just look so cute. I, I'll never forget, like, um, one anime that I was watching, I think, a year or two ago, um, that focused, it was about an aquarium and such. I don't remember the name of the show, but it was, it was super good, very underrated. If I, if I do end up remembering it, I'll probably put it in the comments and such. Um, but it was about a girl who was trying to save, um, an aquarium that she grew up in and that she worked at and such, um, and fell in love with all these aquatic animals and stuff. But eventually something happened. I ain't going to spoil what it is, but, um, she goes somewhere else and this girl that she's met since episode one, she has to learn all the names of the penguins. And mind you, there's like, I think, 13 to 30 penguins, and that's a lot. But, you know, the aneurysms that they do, the certain little things and touches that you can be like, oh, well, this is such and such, this is such and such. I thought that was really sweet. Um, also, with this episode, just having the fact that the rest of the um, the zebras, the gazelles, the other elephant, they all came around for Sakura and such. That was really sweet and being like, okay, she's been there for us. It's our turn to be there for her. And once again, people don't think that animals don't speak up for themselves. They do. It, it is truly sad in the world that, once again, let's talk about animals in a nutshell, that animals are not always able to speak for themselves. And so we as humans have to speak up for them. Like, if Cody could talk... <laughs> 
<laughs> if that little dog could talk to me, I, I don't know what the heck I would do. I, I, I'd be, probably I'd be the happiest girl alive. But same thing with my previous two dogs. I would cry if Cody could talk to me because I could literally have conversations with him about anything. Cody, even the days that I have cried, cried like a baby over something, Cody has just always been there. And whether it's just the, oh, let me sit over here and let me cuddle with you to comfort you or let me lick your hand or let me just snuggle up with you, like those things matter so much whether it's any pet. And so I, I'm still, I'm always forever grateful that I have Cody. Cody is my baby. That That's my son. <laughs> Cody is my son, <laughs> my baby boy. And I just, I love him. Oh, so much. I'm ready to like have a dang photo shoot with this dog. I wanted that for years. Me and my mom together and be like, yeah, look at it. Look at the center of attention. Look at the puppy. <laughs> but no this is a really adorable episode and the fact is that we're getting another episode really not uh kind of focusing on aroha more on her dad i think that's really interesting because i've been wanting wanting episodes on her parents for like the longest time do also love the fact that nico and yuki had a moment in this episode thank you for that I needed that in a way. Something about those two having a conversation. Honestly, once again, would love to be a fly on wall between their conversations. I think they're there because they are very too um, intelligent. Well, yeah, you can say because, you know, Nico is Nico. She's intelligent in her own way. So their conversations will be very interesting. Would love to be a fly on that wall. Yes. So give me an episode. Or two, or three, or even ten of them together. Remember how like Yukari and Akira when they had their moments in Kitakata, and we and we loved that. We surely did, because. But I now really feel like rewatching Kitakata just for the moments and such. I I need that with these two. Not nah, it's not like a shippable thing, but it's just something about them together and just the the interacting. I love it. I'm here for it. Other than that, guys, that's my action towards episode 32 of Wonderful Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all either next Saturday because by the time I come... Well, no. I, I should be okay by the time I come home. Um, Either Saturday after work or Sunday night when I come home or even if I have it come out Sunday afternoon. But for episode 33. <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.